Ned Fulmer of the Try Guys has been cancelled. I needed to cover something a bit lighter, so instead of discussing crime, we'll be discussing cheating. For the unaware, the wildly popular YouTubers known as the Try Guys are guys who try things. This trio was shaped in the amorphous putrid afterbirth of BuzzFeed Corporation TM. These guys tried and tried till they bought the rights to Try Guys and left on a journey of making YouTube content. And they weren't a trio originally, but now they are. Really, if you don't watch Try Guys, you don't need to know much. If you've ever seen a video where a guy makes a soy face and eats some weird, expensive, or gross thing, that's, that's a Try Guys or some formation of that type of content. Unfortunately, those of you who enjoy watching the Try Guys, you might have come to the wrong place. I'm a bit sassy in a way that offends people who enjoy the Try Guys. Now, Ned Fulmer, he was the Try Guy who actually was trying wives. You see, uh, Ned Fulmer is a Try Guy who's about one Borat joke away from another hole upside his head. My wife, 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 my wife. Needless to say, with our boy Ned there, you can kind of suss out how extremely brand friendly the Try Guys are. Ned represents this whole Ned Flanders archetype of a human being. His love for his wife is the basis of his behavior, which is why a cheating scandal involving Ned was the last thing anybody thought possible. In Ned's written apology, he does claim he had a consensual workplace relationship, which is a really funny way of describing what we have been calling an affair in plain English. You see, Ned maintained a months-long affair with an associate producer of the Try Guys, Alex Herring. Now, anybody who followed the story can tell you that this was speculated up to months ago on places like Reddit and Twitter, with fans questioning what happened to Ned in recent videos. It's unknown who exactly was leaking the content to Reddit, quite possibly an insider or somebody with too much time on their hands. However, it wouldn't last long, given that there was a Twitter account leaking incriminating photos of Ned and Alex. Here's the loving couple in a East Village bar smooching it up. The bar's name is Viagra, in case you wanted to know. Excuse me, there was a typo in my teleprompter. It's supposed to say Niagara. However, one could understand why Ned might need some. Alex herself is engaged, by the way, which just makes this even better. Uh, these photos basically sealed away that uh, potential marriage in the bin when kind fans reached out to her fiance, who had a long talk with Ned's wife. Boy, to be a fly on the wall for that conversation. Now, this seems like a cut and dry drama story, the story of a man cheating, but uh, why am I covering this? Well, you see, uh, the Try Guys and Ned parted ways after this scandal. That's something we can all agree on. However, many geniuses reporting on this decided that uh, Ned was fired for cheating. Now, that's technically not right, and encouraging a precedent like that is incredibly stupid. Cheating is bad, don't get me wrong, but you don't fire people for being unfaithful partners, as calling for that is a kind of psychotic. Granted, we gotta understand here, guys, that where uh, my audience enjoys pop punk, uh, the this audience, the Try Guys audience, enjoys Taylor Swift. You know, they're the millennial women who own wall art in their IKEA-themed closet that they call a downtown studio that they pay way too much for, and no amount of yoga will replace the lack of love their father gave them. Well, I guess there's a little bit in common there. It's just that you know they use she/her pronouns, and FPS Diesel fans use she/they pronouns, but. I know what I cover, guys, okay? <laughs> anyway, speaking of covering the uh, more pop punk of society, uh, I've covered serial cheaters before, in particular this guy. Uh, if you've watched the videos, you might know that's the tip of the iceberg. A, uh, it, it's, a, it's a symptom of a creator's much deeper narcissistic afflictions, right? I don't know if that's the case here with Ned, and I don't want to be the kind of guy to just call that as it is, because I don't see it that way. I should mention Alex still works at Try Guys according to LinkedIn, but all of her famous co-workers unfollowed her. So time will tell what that's really all about. The Try Guys specifically leave her name out of the response video they made. There's a lot of reasons for this. Uh, really, the reasons are more legal than moral, though they seem like morally righteous chaps. Uh, but, you know, it takes two to tango, and um, those two people ruined each other's marriages, so, you know. Now, I should mention the big elephant in the room with this conversation, which is the power dynamic. 
But I should also mention these are both adults in an affair with serious committed relationships. Uh, Ned's position and him leaving is probably also going to make it a hostile environment for Alex if she's going to stay. Uh, basically, I don't think she'll be around either way you dice this, right? Unless something insane comes out, I can't just see myself feeling bad for Alex. People often talk about how the power dynamic and creator issues like this is the be all end all, as if the person lacks reasoning or thought. And right now, I can't really chalk it up to more than a workplace affair where both sides were really happy with the whole setup they had going on. Now, that could be wrong, but I just don't know, and for people to call otherwise is really jumping the gun. But what was Ned's role? Well, Ned was an executive producer, and of course he was a partial owner, and executive producers really lose term. Basically, it means the money man who occasionally manages things. These are big picture roles, basically. Uh, film terms and jobs can be lateral promotions, right? Uh, meaning they don't really change anything aside from your title and how many responsibilities you have. But you know, you don't really go up or down to po like the totem pole. It just that's not how it works. So Ned saying he's executive producer could mean a lot of things, and that he does a lot, based on pretty much how many people they have working for the Try Guys company, which is like 30, 40 people somewhere around there. Now, Alex is a employee. Alex is listed as an associate producer. Basically, an associate producer would handle shoot schedules, production timelines, she's the day-to-day -day manager of shoots. It's what a producer does in case you never knew. It's also the uh, person under an executive producer. There's also like a producer role in between there as well. Uh, again, these terms are all super loose, so just because it says associate producer doesn't mean she's a nobody. Remember guys, she's also on-screen talent, so, you know, outside of my room where I can be on camera, I'm a nobody on set. We're talking about corpo corporate YouTube, of which Try Guys is a part of. If you're on camera, you probably matter. To play devil's advocate against myself, you know, we need to really clarify that the Try Guys look absolutely serious in their super corporate video addressing this. There's a lot we don't know right now, so guess what? Uh, as far as I know, it's a consensual affair based on the evidence. However, many people have been speculating that maybe that wasn't the case. That this may have been an abuse of power, and that's really based off of how the Try Guys have been reacting to this. That is possible. Given what I've seen leaked already, I feel like we would probably already know if this was going completely 100% tits up and Ned Fulmer and the Try Guys were going to be on the receiving end of a workplace lawsuit for all this going on. Uh, I, I just feel like we would know about it already. They haven't been able to keep this under wraps. Why would they be able to keep that under wraps? Anyway, yeah. That's why Ned was let go from his position as co-owner of the company. He maintained an affair with an employee. You know, the reality of this all is, is that here in the States, you can lose your job pretty much because your boss was in a bad mood. It's really dependent on the state you live in, of course. Uh, but you know, there's a reason that contracts get signed and you go through all those workplace things at the beginning of your job, right? It's to protect workers' rights, but also, also it's to protect the company. So it makes a lot of sense that the Try Guys would want to open up an investigation and kind of nip this thing in the bud before it got any worse. And I mean, they've already been making memes about it. So I mean, I think they feel as if they have it under control. So what I mean is, it's probably a contract or company policy the Try Guys team signed forbidding that kind of workplace affair type thing. It probably activated a number of things as they decided to move for Ned's removal. For example, does a private investigation, Ned step down are all examples of that. Uh, Ned being in a relationship with an employee is first and foremost a conflict of interest that many of companies, uh, they don't want. So a lot of that stuff is written into paperwork up front as protection for the company, not you, the company. I mean, again, because there's a lot we don't know, it could also require law enforcement, you know, there's a lot of variables that really are on Alex here and what she does next. It could be pretty much whatever she says goes right now, so who knows? I mean, she could lie, but I mean, I don't really see a reason for her to do that. It would probably just blow up in her face as we've seen before with people, but she could really just say anything next. There's also other reports I've seen on this whole story uh, misspelling Alex's name. Here's her full name, Alexandria Herring. Regardless of how pedantic the story is or how you feel about Alex, there's respect given in checking the spelling of her name that is publicly available on LinkedIn. I try to avoid mistakes like these, but uh, the people I'm complaining about here have editors and people whose job it is to make sure spelling mistakes like that don't happen. 
The article's 500 fucking words. You get a spelling mistake on somebody's name? She's a core component to the story. <laughs> Also, some other people have been uh, reporting that Ned was going to be removed from old videos, but the Try Guys Twitter basically said what would be happening next. Uh, one, he'll be edited out of some new videos. Two, we'll have branded videos that don't include him. Three, we're not editing him out of old videos that are already released, though like cool that you think that technology exists, end quote. So yeah, some stuff he's gonna show up in regardless because it's just too difficult to remove and they have contractual obligations, but some of the stuff is in the dustbin of history. But hey, those people who made those mistakes have degrees in journalism, so they're allowed to make mistakes and keep their job. However, I will lose my YouTube channel if I make any mistake of the level that some of these people have made. Really, it's more like I'd lose my credibility, you know, because that's all I got. If there's one thing I've learned, it's really that I don't want to be alarmist with stories. Uh, really, anything could happen. Um, we have an affair here and no evidence at the current point. There's the possibility of Ned being a much worse person than we believe, but I don't want to jump the gun and say otherwise. And like I said earlier, it's really dependent on whatever Alex has to say next whenever she does feel like saying something. Granted, I don't think she will say anything ever and will continue to be a behind the scenes type person from this point on in this industry. I just can't see it happening any other way. But I mean, she could really just screw over Try Guys LLC, make an absolute killing when the company settles and never have to work again in a day in her life. As for Ned, well, Ned is not gonna recover from this. There's no publication. BuzzFeed would never hire him, granted. Um, BuzzFeed has their own workplace misconducts. Um, you know, his business is, is, is dropping him unless he has a golden parachute or something lying around. And I don't really think that Try Guys has that kind of uh, money in the bank. I can't even see him making a comeback from this as his own individual YouTuber because they're kind of an ensemble package. You know, I, I really have zero like sympathy for these people, but like I have no idea how he'd ever pick himself up from this. Like he just won't, it's not gonna happen. As for where this story is right now, well, I mean, you're probably not gonna hear about it for a long time unless something absolutely insane happens, but this is the Try Guys. They're part of a corporate element. They're, they're from a different world than the Twitch streamers, so don't expect people to be dropping bombs on each other like with those previous stories. Anyway, if you enjoyed this and you enjoyed my coverage of this drama, uh, support me on Patreon and also follow me on Twitch where I am now. I'm doing a little bit of a shorter video because I am very tired. I had to take a break.